Greetings from Teo. Welcome to the first section of Lesson 4 of The Word Grows, Living as a Disciple Course. Again, my name is Pastor Davison. Welcome back. We have learned a disciple of Jesus believes Jesus lived a perfect life, died to take the punishment for the sins of the world, and rose from the dead. Forgiven believers have life eternal with Jesus in heaven. As believers, Jesus wants us to share this good news with the world. As we have learned, a branch only grows when connected to the vine. A disciple stays spiritually alive when connected to Jesus through his word and sacraments. The Holy Spirit blesses disciples with faith. A heart of faith produces love, and by this love, we can be God's messengers of his good news. Now let's turn back to the Old Testament to learn more about how to be God's messenger from the book of Malachi. The name Malachi in Hebrew means messenger of God. At the time of its writing, the Jews had been allowed to return from exile and rebuild God's temple. But there were three main things going on at the time that were discouraging for the people of Israel. One, their land remained small in the backwaters of the Persian Empire. Two, the glorious future announced by the earlier prophets had not come to pass. And three, their God had not yet come to his temple. Doubting God's covenant love and no longer trusting God's justice, the Jews of the restored community began to lose hope. So their worship degenerated and they no longer took God seriously. The prophet Malachi warns both the priests and people about their doubt of God's love for them. The people of Israel felt that God was unjust. Let's learn how Malachi responds to the grumblings of the people of Israel. I will send my messenger who will prepare the way before me. Then suddenly the Lord you are seeking will come to his temple. The messenger of the covenant whom you desire will come, says the Lord Almighty. But who can endure the day of his coming? Who can stand when he appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a launderer's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will purify the Levites and refine them like gold and silver. Then the Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord, as in days gone by, as in former years. So I will come to put you on trial. I will be quick to testify against sorcerers, adulterers, and perjurers, against those who defraud laborers of their wages, who oppress the widows and the fatherless, and deprive the foreigners among you of justice. But do not fear me, says the Lord Almighty. I, the Lord, do not change. So you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. Ever since the time of your ancestors, you have turned away from my decrees and have not kept them. Return to me, and I will return to you, says the Lord Almighty. The people in Malachi's day had grown indifferent to God's great love. One theme of the book of Malachi is, I have loved you, says the Lord. But the calloused response of the people was, How have you loved us? The prophet Malachi seeks to show them that the problem was not on God's part. It never is. The problem was their sinful nature and the temporary perspective. 
They needed to see things from God's eternal perspective and serve him by faith. And how does this faith happen? By grace, we have faith and are connected to Jesus. Our faith enables us to love others and share God's saving words. Jesus simply tells us, By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Showing love and mercy is the way of Jesus and a disciple. Let's learn about one example of Jesus' great love from the book of Luke. Soon afterward, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples and a large crowd went along with him. As he approached the town gate, a dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the town was with her. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. Then he went up and touched the bier they were carrying him on, and the bearer stood still. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk, and Jesus gave him back to his mother. They were all filled with awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us, they said. God has come to help his people. This news about Jesus spread throughout Judea and the surrounding country. God is here today to help you too. Before applying his power, Jesus showed his love to the widow. When the Lord saw her, his heart went out to her, and he said, Don't cry. From Jesus' love for us flows loving actions by us, doing good for others so they may know Jesus' love is a way of a disciple. We have come to the end of our fourth video. Already, we are halfway through this course. Please join section two of this lesson in the live online class, may deeper study be a blessing to you. I'm Pastor Davison. It's my pleasure to serve you.